Bristol Rising News, I'm Mark weller In breaking news today, downtown Bristol has scored another investor. The Barley Vine, a craft-inspired gastropub, will be opening right on Main Street. One of the most popular concepts among the 2,000 member Bristol Rising community will be going right across the way from a massive mixed-use downtown revitalization project. For more on this story and more on the Barley Vine, here's Maggie Slips. Thanks, Mark. I'm here with the owners of Barley Vine to find out what has led them to open up this electrifying new place. Okay, so can you guys tell me a little bit about yourselves? I'm Terry Lugo, and I'm originally from Syracuse, New York, and now live in Bristol, Connecticut. I've been here for about six years. I'm Victor Lugo. I'm originally from the Bronx, New York, and um, I've been in uh, Bristol for about uh, eight years, and um, I'm 52 years old. Uh, <laughs> turned 52 uh, in October of last year. Okay. Why not something else? Um, you know, I, I think, again, we looked into the hospitality industry as, in, as a whole, and we really looked at things like, you know, small motels, uh, bed and breakfast. We looked at a, a number of ideas. Um, you know, right now, restaurants are doing very well. Um, in, in this down economy, interestingly enough, folks are, you know, still going to restaurants, and they're really choosing restaurants very carefully. They want, you know, their expendable income needs to be spent in the right places. So we thought we could deliver uh, a product that would ultimately encourage folks to come to our place. And so we just felt that was the right time for it. Can you take us through your menu and talk about some of the items that are featured? So, so you know, we, we really put together a menu that we thought would be interesting. Uh, remember, it is a craft-inspired gastropub. So we really wanted to take the food in a direction that was more um, allowing our chef to kind of put his own taste and flavor into it because he's an artist. We see our chef as an artist. Mm -hmm. So he created a menu that kind of has a, a play on that. Um, for example, we, we've created some items that we're calling Itty Bitty Bits. And those are more geared toward, you know, bar food, folks that might like sit at the bar. Snacks. You know, things like roasted nuts, um, you know, there's, there's spicy Cajun deviled eggs, those kinds of that. things. Um, we've also created, you know, a, 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 almost like a tapas level, if you will. So a tidbits, which is a little bit larger than the bar food, but um, interesting they're as well. They're more like appetizers. They're, they're, they're essentially appetizer yeah. size. And, and those are going to be things, I mean, we think some of our big sellers are going to be the barley vine porter chili, which is actually going to be made with a... a, 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 a beer that is a port kind of beer. Um, so we also think the braised pork belly is going to go over really nicely. Um, again, understanding the, the demographics that we're going after. Um, we, we created bits, which is really kind of the lunch portion, you know, burgers, sandwiches, that kind of thing. And then finally, we have an entree menu, which, you know, we're really excited about um, things like shepherd's pie, which are, you know, pub, you know, staples, but we're going to put our own spin on that flavor. And they're definitely going to really mix well with the with the beverages. Yeah, the, the whole idea here is to really tie in, you know, the food with the beverage and, and the beverage being craft as well. You know, the whole micro brews, micro distilleries, micro wineries, boutique that kind of a thing, boutique and, wines. And small batch liquors. So how is this restaurant going to fit into the community in Bristol? You know, it's, well, it's, 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 community, it's community voted on. I mean, you know, we received over 400 votes on the crowd, uh, crowdsource placemaking site that the Renaissance downtown created to, to build this downtown. And as you can see outside, I mean, we have a significant number supportive. of our supporters um, here today. So I think it's going to be very well received. Hi, Bobby. I'm Mayor Art Ward of Bristol, Connecticut. On behalf of the City of Bristol, I want to thank you and the Food Network for considering Terry and Victor's great new venture, Barley Vine. The community is really excited over the potential of this great new establishment and the prospect of Bobby Flay coming to help. Are you kidding me? Bobby, with your guidance, I know Barley Vine will be a smash hit. Welcome to Bristol. Jump on board and be a huge piece in helping Bristol rise. Hello, Bobby, Food Network Executives. I'm Mike Nicastro, President of the Central Connecticut Chambers of Commerce. We'd be thrilled and we'd welcome the Food Network and Bobby Flay to Bristol, especially to help such great community folks like Terry and Victor open their dream business. Our chamber serves a region with about 140,000 residents, and we know how hungry everyone is for a great new place for food and drink. 
with your track record, Bobby, and Terry and Victor's passion, this is going to be one heck of a success for our community, and we'll be dying to eat it up. What are some of the surrounding businesses in this particular area? There are, um, right here on Main Street, there's um, like a, a, a dry cleaners right next door. There's a computer place, a hair salon, and uh, Bristol downtown has um, a few restaurants. Um, but we're hoping as time goes on and, and Renaissance develops across the street, there's going to be um, more living apartments. Um, and other small businesses that yeah, would be part, of, part of the concept of the revitalization is to create a live work play yeah. space so we're not only going to have places for folks to live but also more commercial establishments so we expect to see many more restaurants and other types of retail outlets mm -hmm. do you guys expect that barley vine is going to be a big hit yes <laughs> yeah yeah i, I, I think again do. you can look outside see the crowd support yeah. you know our fan page has, you know, we have 250 people that like us already and we don't even have a restaurant yet. So, yeah, we think it's going to be a really big hit. Yeah, we do. We're really excited about it. Why do you want to work with Bobby Flay? <sighs> Please, Bobby. <laughs> we need you to come here to help us here at Barley Vine, help us with, uh, you know, just, it would be so exciting to have you, have him be here as, um, you know, a guy guidance and uh, a mentor and helping us you know just we have a business plan we have our chef we have our menu but I think with him his input on you know really fine-tuning everything and yeah listen we Bobby we you know <laughs> please please help us out I mean we we're big fans of yours you know we, we Terry and I traveled quite a bit for our jobs yes. And, you know, whenever we're in New York, we, we make a, a point of coming to Mesa Grill. Whenever we're in I Vegas, we go to Vegas. Vegas. We were just in <laughs> Vegas a few weeks ago. We ate at Mesa Grill. Um, we're really big fans of you on, on the Food Network. Um, you know, you're a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. We should be able to connect pretty nicely. She's a New Yorker. We're all New Yorkers. Um, really looking forward to having you. I think what Bobby brings to the table is, you know, uh, 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 the ability to build a brand. And the ability to create a brand, he's obviously done a great job doing that for himself and, and his team. Um, and we really think we can learn a lot from that. You know, not to mention that he has incredible chops in the kitchen as well. Um, so we're really excited about having him come here and be a part of our, our restaurant. This community is so excited for Bobby Flay to come to Bristol. They crowdsource Bobby Flay's very own song. Hit it, guys. Oh, Bobby, I love your flame every day. Wanna be with you night and day? What do you It's nice to know that when I come back from school that I actually have somewhere nice to go out at night with my friends since I grew up here in Bristol all my life and it's kind of infamous for not having much of a night scene and just to know that I can get a nice craft beer here if I want to, it's here for me and it's not far. Awesome. Cool. Perfect. I can't wait to get a beer. A root beer that is. <laughs> Okay, Bobby, are you ready to come to Bristol? Because you so have to be here. You so have to be here. We are ready for you if you are ready for us. Barley Vine is the best thing happening in Bristol. You have to be a part of it. We will welcome you. You will never want to leave Bristol. So come on down to Barley Vine today! Woo! Yeah! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs>